Hello. Uh, so, what I just found um, quite accidentally is a gold mine. But let me show you systematically, and I'll send you an index of everything I did and relevant links and keywords that I used. Uh, but have I got some good stuff for you? Um, and I went to school. I, I was in high school around the time, and I saw somebody with like a really sweet 80s haircut. I'm like, oh, that's amazing. Um, <laughs> let me start with that one. Um, this is, so I'm going to show you library catalog. EBSCO had a couple. Um, archives out on the open web showed us the Salt Lake City School District board records exist here in our Marriott Library, and I can talk to you about how to get those um, and how to look at Salt Lake Tribune, which tragically starts at 1990, and Deseret News starts at like 2017, so that doesn't help us at all. Uh, but I'll start with the fun one first. Um, Utah Digital Newspapers. So back in the day, like 20 years ago, they were archiving these old, crusty, worn out, um, yellowed and, and crispy newspapers that from the 1800s that have been saved in people's basements. What has happened since then, if we go to advanced search, is they've added, apparently, the Salt Lake Tribune. Um, so how you get around this is, I just did, so it it's machine, so they scanned it, and then it used um, an algorithm called um, OCR, Optical Character Recognition, where it trans translates what the, the letter is that it scanned. And it was kind of dodgy, but it's getting better. So when you do South High School and Closure in advanced search, and you set a date range of like, 1985, and I'll explain why I did that later, to 1992 when the other newspaper databases catch up, and it doesn't matter which ones you catch because it's like, well, there's only one South High School in Utah that I'm aware of, and the closure is relevant. When you click search, oh, look at that, the cheeky, I don't want 1931, I'll have to add, tell them about that. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm going to come up to 84 and 1994. So we only have 100. And, that was weird that it did that. At any rate, you see stuff from 1987 when the news has been shared with people. And you click on this. And here's the person with the awesome 80s haircut. And they're, they're, at this point, there's like opinion pieces that you can pick apart for qualitative and case study sort of a thing. They'll talk about some context, like new boundary plan, um, the claims of equality, socioeconomic levels, and all sorts of great um, words that you can use to develop uh, a rhetorical analysis or whatever you're working on. So this is great. And we're going across papers. Um, but a lot of the journalists back in the day had the obligation to share things from both points of view because of there was a, a Fairness in Media Act or something like that that was repealed soon around this time where we get very polarized media. So you can get some good information about what you're looking at. But this is great to go through. And you can also sort by date. So we can see date by oldest first. And like, is there somewhere in here where it says that they're closing? Are they going to? So this is like Air Force bases and things like that. So again, this is machine read. So you might have to go through a few of these, but like 120 isn't bad. And you can cruise through these and start to see when those initiatives to close it happened. Utah Digital Newspapers, and I will show you how I found that, but you can just watch this video too. OK, I'll, I'll put my, my notes are on this side, and I'll put that one first. Um, next one, library catalog. We have in our library catalog a variety of things that are indexed, um, and you can access them by keyword. So my keywords, I'm going to show you kind of a different strategy, because this is looking at stuff outside of Utah as well. So I might have to qualify it with place names. It's like Salt Lake City or Utah or things like that. When I do a search for this, this is looking through a uh, a hodgepodge of databases, some newspaper archives, and so it's like all over the world that this is looking for. And what I found, there's not too much, 
but there is like evaluative criteria, what's that? And then all of a sudden we're like, oh, 1956, okay, maybe that's not so exciting. Um, so there's, this is less intuitive than the, the Utah Digital Newspapers. But here's an interesting one that I found. South High School, 1983, so right before that article, calls it an effective inner city school. Is that an issue? That used to be like lingo from like the 70s and 80s. Um, and think of it as kind of like a precursor to EDI and, and diversity and things like that. So I'll show you another database where this shows up. But you might find some great things that are mixed in there. Oh, here's even one. Oh, it's peer reviewed. Nice. So you can see some of the rationale that they're talking about, but they might talk about the opposition and they might be justifying why it's an effective school using the criteria of the school district at the time. Um, and then here we have somebody who fell off a ship <laughs> who was from South High, from some other state. So some of these things you get to ignore. So there's pages and pages of that. Um, the next one, so I, I went through some databases and got nothing. So you can some things that, um, we can ignore. But one of them was called EBSCO. Everyone's familiar with the EBSCO. If you go to EBSCO host databases, you can search through all of these. The problem that we've got is they trend towards our current century. And then they diminish down to like 1995 when the internet starts coming on. And then they even thin out further from back there. But for what it's worth, um, what search did I do for EBSCO? Oh. Um, this is the one where I found the, an, an effective inner city school. But let's try that same search that we did, and you get to decide for yourself what's going to work. I don't know if that matters. But the, the effective inner city, inner city school shows up at the outset. The cool thing that you can do, though, and I'm looking at these things as we go. The problem is like most of these were published at, at different times than the one that you're looking at. Oh, here's the inner, inner city school again. And there's the person who fell off, fell off the ship. When you go into this level, they might have digitized things like the abstract, which they didn't. Um, Salt Lake City School Administration. Democracy in education, what does that mean? This might be a good article to track down. Um, and you can also, See if you can find evidence of um, Thomas and Sorison. Do they, are they still around? Is it people that you can talk to? Are they, have they written other things? So for example, you click on this and you can see everything else that LaVar wrote. Critical thinking, lecture demonstrated, that's in high school biology. Not as exciting as the first one. Next thing, if you go out to Google, you can type in um, uh, okay, <laughs> I was like, I want to find the, the Salt Lake City School District archives. Typically, school districts or governing bodies will keep their like minutes and meetings and things like that. And so how do we find those? And do we have access to those? And the answer is yes. The Salt Lake City School District Board records. There's a mouthful. Whenever you see this Archives West, it could be anywhere in um, kind of the, the Utah region. But when we go here, we'll see that it is held by our very own Special Collections. Um, and so this is where I will put you in touch with somebody in Special Collections and how to get a hold of this stuff. The cool thing about this, though, is it has a box by box, folder by folder index. So let's do a search just using the Command F or Control F. And I'm going to do, what did I look for? Oh, I just looked for South High. So there's South High history, and it ends with 1988. So you can have access to that. And that might be this um, Board of Education working with it. Another one, sale of South High High School. They have to declare why they're buying and selling these things to avoid issues of conflict of interest or corruption and things like that. So it should be, have a lot of good stuff. South High School, a history. OK, how do we get a hold of Special Collections stuff? Collections, University of Utah. If you go to their page, um, you can re request an appointment right here. 
And I will have a link to this particular archive so you can say, hey, I want access to this, this, and this. So you can have a chance to look at this. Um, so that's how you do that. I'll put that link on the notes that I'm going to send to you too. Appointment. And I misspelled appointment, of course. OK, the next one, um, I'm just going to show you a couple that I already I found elsewhere. So the Utah Division of Archives and Records Service, they've got like a couple of things. Might be worth to look there, but most of the archives are held here at the Marriott Library. Another one is the Digital Public Library of America. I had high hopes for this, and it's got a lot of old classic pictures when high school was this glorified thing in the 1930s. Um, for what it's worth, they have like these beautiful architectural photos or um, people posing in the walkways or somebody having a heartfelt phone call. But there's not a lot that bleeds past um, the post-war period. So there's nothing from the 80s and the 70s on this one. But for what it's worth, um, I'll give you that link to look at too. OK, the next thing that I wanted to show you also had some good stuff. So we do have newspapers databases. So in the databases, there's two, one of which is called US News Stream. So I'm just going to, so this is a database you have access to. This has um, Deseret News and it has Salt Lake Tribune. Deseret News only goes back to 2017. They have their own archives, sometimes available on their website. Sometimes it works and sometimes they close it off, so your results may vary. Uh, but in the advanced search, uh, this is what I did. Again, it's the same search, South High or South High School, and I did a location. But on this one, I put closure. And this is looking at all the newspapers in the world, or in the world, in the United States. So we've got the Tribune. Um, <laughs> why we show up in USA Today is because they're talking about something that's unrelated to Utah. So again, but here's a great one. Salt Lake Board from 1991 um, are divided. So I'm hoping to find stuff like that. Um, after the closure, the board sought to create a balance. Um, approximately one third, diversity or nothing new to Salt Lake. So it's no surprise. And so you can find these kind of retroactive things in the early 90s. But I found that if we search, oh, I did search by oldest first. There was one, oh, here it is. Um, there's hard feelings that remain from the closure of, of South High. So again, this it's kind of subtle, nitty-gritty stuff. Um, whoa, all of a sudden they put $100 million into it after they closed it? Okay, I'm not touching that one. Ouch. Wow. That's, there's a twist. I don't know if we can, how to interpret that. We're going to close the school and then we're going to put like $100 million into it. Yikes. Okay. Be that as it may. One last one that I have to show you. Go to databases. There's one called Nexus Uni. Oh, that was a bad one. Nexus, Nexus Uni. This is one where you can look at legal proceedings and legislative proceedings. So on this one, um, going in here, you can do, I, I'd recommend the advanced search. Because then, does this work? It's, no, this is not what I wanted. Did I want it? I didn't want to do a power search. They've changed the interface on this on me. Uh, well, let's just try South High. South High School and Closure and... Utah, let's see what we find. Hello. Oh, here we go. So there's news, there's um, there's cases, but also you should be able to find, oh, there's the Deseret News of all things. Look at that. Wow. So these are people that are coming, um, having to speak on their behalf. Shoot. I thought there was a place where you could see, oh, this is what I was looking for. There we go. Statutes and legislation, codes. Um, so let's look at legislation. Congressional record, Utah bills. 
Uh, congressional record is national, though. I want local stuff. Law reviews and journals, legal news. OK, so you get to dig through this. But remember, just do a search right here in the main, and then um, expand this menu right here. And you should be able to cruise through and get some good stuff. Um, let me know how it goes. I'm going to send you my notes to how I did these searches. But let me know how it goes. It, it feels like there's, if we can find this much stuff, um, just using the handful of things that I know, it seems likely that there might be some other things out there. So look for names here. Look for maybe legislators or maybe uh, board uh, people who are pro and con. And there might be further things that we can look into. Whew. OK, thanks for hanging in there.